Um, it's Ruth here at artfulstampin.co.uk and today we're going to be making paper flowers. So I remember today I was gifted this fabulous gift for my birthday and I haven't got round to using it as much as I wanted to so I thought I would use it tonight. It's not something that Stampin Up do. This one is actually by a company called McGill and it's basically a tool set for kind of shaping paper. So I thought I'd have a little play with that. Also, I did receive the soft pastels a while back and I have had a little play with it and thought it would be nice to have a go with that as well tonight. So I've got that there. Lots going on. And also, uh, da, 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 da. yes, I'm going to show you how I would use texture stamps for kind of stamping onto petals to make them a little bit more interesting. So that's the main thing. And I will pull in, oh, what's the other flower? I've got the other flower punch here, this one, that matches a stamp set. I might pull in the daisies, possibly the tulip as well, because that's the other flower punch that we have. But I pulled out the heart to show you that you can make flowers from the heart. Now, normally I would, at this stage, be going, oh, I need my hot glue, my hot glue gun, because it's nice and quick for sticking flowers together however the last time I went to use it it broke and I have not got round to replacing it so I won't be doing that tonight I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna do but that's kind of a good thing because sometimes my viewers don't always have the same equipment that I do so welcome welcome thank you for popping along if you're watching this on the replay always lovely to read comments from people who weren't able to make it to the live and let's have a look let's see who's watching on the live while I cut out some hearts so this is I was just about to say peekaboo peach then but that's the colour from a way back this is pale papaya I think yes oh I'm sorry Liz, sorry to hear that. I thought that that was why you were kind of spending time with her as she was near the end. Oh, I'm glad that you could be there for her. Rest well, my darling. Sorry about that. Hi Bonnie, hi Martina, Mindy, Mary. Valerie, Christine, Jan, Kathy, Mary, Margaret, Bonnie, where is everybody? Okay, lots of love, Liz. Lots and lots of love. Shall I put my order for my heart punch in now? Only if you love it. Please, please don't be using my name in vain when it comes to your purchases. You know. It's funny, I was watching um, Laura Basson. She's a, she's not a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, but she's a, a YouTuber. And she was saying on her latest video, um, I've just got to say a word about, about uh, all the products and things. She said... Um, she goes, now this is my full-time job, you see, and, and companies send me stuff, but just because I use it doesn't mean you have to go out and buy it. She goes, if I didn't have all the money, I wouldn't be buying it all. So um, I thought, yeah, sometimes as a demonstrator, I feel that I have to say that too, because it's kind of my job to demonstrate. That's why I have more than the average person. Uh, but However, I do know there are a few of you out there who don't demonstrate, and you enjoy it, and you buy it, and that's your choice, and, you know, it's your leisure, so... There we go. Right, so the reason I've lined these up like this is to try and get the most out of the Versamark ink that I'm about to use. So you have had your, that punch on your radar. Right, I will say to you though, it is a double punch. So you'd, you'd get two in a pack. You get this one and one that's slightly larger with a, a little scallop around it. It's very cute. And it's what I would deem as those kind of essential shape punches that if you're um if you're a crafter that you know is planning to craft for a while then there are kind of some essential shapes that i think you should 
have in your stash. So, right now, I know it looks like I'm doing nothing here, but I honestly, I am, I am stamping. I'm using Versamark ink. Look how dirty my ink pad is. And I'm just getting some textures onto these punched out hearts. And you will see why in a second. It will all come good. Hi, Levine. Hi, Christine. Okay, so I'm going to pop them back again. I want to try and get them quite close together. She says. <laughs> Hold on, I'll do that. There we go, that's better. Right, so I think I'm going to use this sort of red looking one. I presume this is like Poppy Parade. Let me see if they actually write the list of colours on here. Uh, no, they don't. Oh, yes, they do. Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, Poppy Parade. There we go, Poppy Parade. So what I do to get the powder off or the to get this to work for me is I get my nice sharp scissors and I literally just scrape on. Oh, you're going to have to just listen to the jingle jangle. Look at my lovely jingle jangle. The lovely Janice made this for me. I think it's so crafters can hear I'm coming. <laughs> right, so I'm just scraping on some of this powder from the pastel. And I'm literally going to get my finger. And I, I know, I know, I know you guys, some of you are like, no, you're going to get your fingers messy. But honestly, it works. Because look, like magic, it then sticks to the portion that I put the Versamark ink on. Look at that. Now, I know some of you are seasoned crafters and you probably use pastels the first time round. This is probably like the third or fourth time pastels have come round. But, um, or chalk pastels or whatever you want to call them chalks to be used this way but some there are some of you who have not seen it before so I'm doing this on your behalf but and also a new way of doing using them so, isn't that cute so there we go those are my little hearts all decorated nicely hi Roberta Carraway from Sun rise florida welcome welcome hi abby lovely to see you hi joanna hi april all right so i want to put some shape into these hearts because i don't want them to be too flat and then i'm going to be getting out my special flower shaping tools here at the side they look like cookies oh you do a bit hi miss wendy okay so i'm just using my pointy nose tweezers really basic kind of tool and i'm gonna get my mat I feel like every time I've gone to make paper flowers, I end up making these kind of like peachy or orangey coloured things. I feel like a bit deja vu-y about it. Okay, so I've used the biggest kind of baller thing here. And I'm just going round, around, 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 around. And you see how that's kind of like shaping the petals a bit for me? Like so. That's curving around. Actually, I'm wondering whether to have it the other way. Let's see what it looks like the other way around. Ready? So this just helps to soften all those fibres, or break them up really. And um, creates a bit of shape in there. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of up to you which way around you prefer them. I was going to try and... Give that a little bit of a pinch there. 
like so to make that that petal then now the other tool we have in here is, is it this one no that's the pointy ah, it's this one here look that one yes it's got a little kind of slit in it so you can pop your paper like the end of it and you can give that a weird little twist so that just helps to curl your your petal over how cool is that so obviously you can do that with the tweezers but this is a specially kind of shaped tool for that okay because of course our petals need to be shaped hello miss monica It's going to be a big flower, yes. Hello, Catherine. Lovely to see you. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's a, it's like a quilling tool, though it's not a, it's not like those smaller quilling tools. This is quite a big one, so probably not. Oh, well done. I've got to do my shaping. Right, let's quickly do this. This is just one of the ways that you can kind of shape your, your petals. I don't want to do it that way, I think. Prefer that way around. Just quickly do that. Now, if you don't have this, I'll tell you, you there's this really expensive tool that you can get. It's called a glue. <laughs> I'm joking. Well, actually, the price of glue has gone up. So if you're buying it for the first time, it's... Um, Probably does seem quite expensive but this glue lasts a very long time so as long as you use it sparingly so there we go so you can do that with it and you can use that to shape your flowers it's not quite the same but it kind of does the job so if you don't want to go out and buy special tools for now if you're just kind of tentatively trying out the whole paper flower world then you know use what you have around look look in your kitchen look for rounded end tools and see what you can see what you can use so. hi fred oh fred's picking up tips is he is it because i said tools he's there she said tools Show me a tool. <laughs> I know I know what some men are like. My husband wouldn't be bothered. He'd be like, a tool? What's what for? But uh, some men are like, oh, tools. <laughs> what does that do? You gadget. Right. So there we go. There's my nice, nice, shapely, rather shapely flowers. Bonnie, is your, is your uh, autocorrect not working today? There we go. I think that would make a nice flower. Let's stick that all together then. So sometimes it's easier, she says, to cut a piece of card. Just a random kind of circular-ish thing. And pop the glue onto there. So let's in three dots like so and put that down hold that one two three four five hello Brigitte you try to get new tools yes is he? as we try to find a new mailbox post you mean a new mailbox for your post oh was he trying to make it or was he trying to install it? One, two, three, four, five. Hello, Kaz. Hi, Cher. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Good morning, Miss Vanessa. Good morning, Australia.
One, two, three, four, five. So because I'm having to count because this glue just takes a few seconds for it to take. To take. What do you take me for? A fool? What film's that from? I'm saying take, not take. Yes, we want the kookaburra update. So for those of you who don't know, Vanessa lives in Australia and she has kookaburras that come and roost on her balcony and she feeds them. So now I'm not I'm not actually sure about this because I don't like the way that the I've done the petals. I feel like maybe I should have done them slightly differently. Hmm, well done. I'm gonna just Pull that apart a second because I'm not happy with that. I'm going to just move them back out a bit. It's because of the shape of the heart. It's because it, because we've got two petals in there. It's got to bear that in mind. So anyway, I'll re redo that. That's better. Just looked a bit odd. Right, so we're going to have to stick something in the middle now. Right, so what do you think of having that kind of texture in there? It's kind of effortless, isn't it? it? It makes the flower look so much more realistic by having... Sorry, ignore the glue. Sorry about that. Ignore the glue mess there. But can you see how that lovely kind of flower kind of look is coming together? So I'm going to hide my gubbins with some... I don't know, should we go for a... Oh, we'll go for a pale yellow. Cheryl. Right now, the other thing I want to try, because I've not done this before, is dipping the tips of my flowers in the Versamark. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to get another tool here, just. Poke them in like so. I'm gonna have to count though to make sure that I don't overdo it. Four, five, six. Okay, I think that's all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. Mm, now, what colour? I do have this lovely sort of deeper yellow. Now, let's just remind myself what that is. Daffodil Delight. Right, okay. And I have just... This is so saffron cardstock, so let's see if there's any difference if I... Put a wee bit of the daffodil on the tips of that. Let's see if it gets any darker. Oh, yes, it does. It's very soft. Very, very pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that. Is it picking up the difference? So just do a bit of a bit more scraping. Oh, now, those of you who have used the chalks, can I use this director paper or will it take off the first mark? Like, could I just literally draw it on? Am I making life too hard for myself by doing this all this scraping business? What do you think? Am, am I just, you know... Oh, now these are those really cool tweezers that they work in a different way. With this one, you squeeze them to shut them. This one, you, you squeeze to open it and then it kind of... Oh, it's not super duper tight. Hold on. Let's see if I can get it a bit tighter. No, it's not going to go tighter. Never mind. 
you you squeeze it to shut it. But, um... Right, can anyone tell me, is there a way of making these go tighter? Because look, there's a little bit of a gap there. I'll wait to hear from you if you have any answers for that. But in the meantime, I'm going to use my other tweezers because I can actually physically push it tight. So, oh yes, I'm thinking a bit of green. Pliers, says Martina. Okay, I have pliers in abundance. I can do that. Right. So these ones, I think I can... Oh, actually, let me bring in my mat. So you can use this tool just to scrape down like so. Oh, I don't want all the powder to come off. Don't do that. Hopefully it will stay on the edges. Yes, it has. There we go. I'll do that again. So you put it on the upside down. And you pull down from the middle to the ends, like so. And it just curls up those petals very gently. And then you can do a little circular motion and it pops it up. Place on wood and hammer gently. Okay, okay. Thank you. I thought you guys might know. I'm going to offset that a little bit because I know I've got a third one to go on here. Hold that there for a second. You can do shorter paper, but it won't be as dark. Okay. Thank you. Right, I was thinking a little bit of green. Um, oh, just dropped it on the floor. Oh, where's it gone? Oh, that's so bizarre. <laughs> I literally had it in my hands, didn't I? And then it fell on the floor. Oh, that's so odd. Right, I was looking around for what I could use as a stamen. Not stamen. Is this no, what's in the middle of a flower? And I was thinking this little star, just the sweetest little star you ever did see. Did anyone get the film quote? I didn't check. Mary Hawk, I must have dozed off you gluing them together. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, nobody guessed the film. But one can also wedge something in the lower ending. This will squeeze the top of this. Ah, okay, right. Use chalk like coloured pencil. Don't press too hard. Okay. Ah, thank you, Diane. <laughs> yes, the sea pole goes underneath, doesn't it? But what do you call the thing that goes right in the middle on the inside? Oh, I'm just going to hold that there. One, two... Three, four, five. The stamen are the sticky, ugly things. 
I should know this really because I was looking at some science books for my daughter the other day and they do the whole um, the whole introduction to sexual reproduction is always going through like the anatomy of a flower <laughs> isn't it it's like let's look at a flower first before we shock you <laughs> And there we have it, our pastel, pastel, chalky flower. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, really. Right, let's try something else. Um, I wanted to do more texture, but instead of using the circle punch this time, I think I'm going to try and use the tulip, but use it in a slightly different way. I'm going to maybe cut it a little bit. So, I don't know, what about, oh, that's a bit insipid, isn't it? What about a bit of blue? Should I go for a bit of blue this time? Yes, remember the chalk will wipe off. Yes, yeah, so you can spray with a fixative. I, I did mean to order some, uh, but you can get a fixative spray. Now, Linda, please remind me, Linda was telling me that there were different types of fixative. And be sure to have one, not the other. But I think it was a bit... Oh, that's great news, Christine. Wonderful. I saw that he'd been in hospital, but I didn't realise what it was for. Hairspray. Yes, hairspray is one option. Uh, yes, Bonnie, I was going to actually trim it a little bit. Let's have a think how many I might need. So I'm just trying to get more and more out of this piece of paper that I moving it around a bit okay just make a big old mess but that's okay oh by the way octopus <laughs> cindy's watching let's just cut these Three corners off. Corners. They're not corners at all. Petals. For those of you who don't know, Christine's good news about Dennis. Good Dennis is her grandson. And he was having cancer treatment. He was only a young lad. So we've been praying for him and the family that's wonderful news okay there we have it so this time I want to use a slightly different texture I'm going to use this one here which may seem a little bit odd but I think it'll be alright I think it might just work. Oh yes, that can be done too. Yep, using eyeshadow. I've just got my which side I've stamped it on there. that one? I don't think I did. Hmm. 
I'll go with not. Hi, Megan. So some people are saying you can just draw straight on. And you can. So I'm just choosing to use the whole flat of the the chalk piece because it's square. So it's quite easy really to get that all on. My day's been quite good, Megan, thank you. Yeah. Got a few things done. Oh, that's the wrong way around. And caught up with some friends. And cooked dinner. Oh, Martina gave me a recipe for some roast pork. We put some caraway seeds in it. It was very nice. I could have done with leaving the pork in the oven for a little bit longer. But that was that was my fault, really, for starting dinner too late. But I probably should have put a few more caraway seeds in it. I wasn't quite sure how it was going to be. Right, so let me... Poisers. Oh, there they are. Okay. So, a little bit of. Oh, no. What am I doing? Let's shape these a little bit. Which direction are we going to go? I think we're going to go the other way. Right. There we go. Look at that. That's a good shape for a petal, isn't it? Now that one I tweezered first. So it, it's got that little kind of kink in it, which I quite like, I think. Because it helps to kind of shape it a bit more. Chalk is so messy. It is, isn't it? Yeah, this is my... I have had one little play with the chalk. I thought I'd have another little play. The the diff there's a really nice kind of softness though to it that I'm not sure. Oh, I might. I don't know if we'd get it with ink, but it is pretty. Well, I'm going to have to clean this mat afterwards. So. Martina's cats are being a pain. <laughs> you won an Oscar at school. What did you win an Oscar at school for, Megan? Oh, I also had some nice posts today. One of my teenies. Um, she does all sorts of crafting and she has made jewelry, a lot of jewellery in the past and she sent me a massive box of different bits of jewellery that she's made and um, a lovely card. And I put it, oh, I can show you later. And basically she says you can do what you will with it. So I've picked out some of my fave bit pieces but the rest of it I'm going to donate to the Potter's House for their next sale try and make some more money to raise funds for the Cycle with Dignity project. So. It was for music. Ah. Very good. So I'm just, as you can see, just tweezering these petals, giving them a little bit of shape here. 
Oh, I can imagine this again with a yellow, nice yellow middle. Right now, do you think we're going to be able to do... Well, I have got four, so I might end up with eight. Hmm, yes. Let's do it. Oh, a pot of chicken noodle soup. Yum, yum. Right, so I'm just cutting a scrap bit for just as a base. And it really is scrap. It's you know, nothing kind of special. Actually, I'll just do that. Nothing really special about it. And we'll pop that there. Do one opposite. North, south, east, west. It's easy to remember, isn't it? Yes, I have, Jan. Yes, I did. I did mention it in a live the other day, but I don't think you were there. Yes, I was going to show it off because I have it right here, actually. Thank you, Jan. I did. Um, who else did I get a car from recently? Oh, I also found that this is going back way back to my birthday, but there were some cards that I didn't show in my birthday card video and... I'd sort of put them somewhere different or something happened where they just ended up on a different shelf. And so I brought those into my craft room because I, I need to show those off because I don't want to leave those people out who sent me those cards. So I might show you all those as well tonight. Right, there we have it. So isn't that pretty? Love that. So I'm thinking, what about cutting a couple of centres from with this so making paper flowers is is just a kind of step-by-step -step process really looking at different punch shapes or you can cut them yourself you don't have to have necessarily have punches to do this and it's about kind of building them up building up the shape so i tend to start from out you know start from out in work your way out and then just running my petals through the Versamark because I want those tips to be coloured. And I'm just going to get the Daffodil Delight out again and just give that a bit of a swipe there. Now I know I can do that. Hi, Lindy! Hey, I'm on my account now. Hi, Megan. <laughs> Rainy said earlier about what to put in the middle of the flower. Elliot answered half asleep and said, Ruth, put Lello in it. It's, it must be my soothing bedtime voice, Wendy. <laughs> so she stayed in her own bed, been in her, not stayed in her own bed, but she'd been going off to sleep in her own bed. Yes, I like the caraway taste. <laughs> yes, and it's very much in, because I use it when I ever make sauerkraut as well. So it's, or if I'm stir frying some cabbage, sometimes I put caraway. Or um, actually more often, it's when I make coleslaw. When I make like grated cabbage, or sorry, it's finely sliced cabbage and um, carrots and mayonnaise and I sometimes put pumpkin seeds and things in I put caraway seeds it's a very nice taste oh brilliant Wendy that's good and how are you feeling okay see I still think that needs a little bit like another little a little centre, doesn't it? I've 
got these scrap bits of peach I can use. There's still bits of green in there. I love punches like this because you can get, you can use the little tiny spaces for things. Little bits of card. So Megan, do you like making cards? Does mommy let you play with her stash? Right, let's hold that down for a second. Right. Cute. So I know the probably the next question you have is how are you going to use that on a card, Ruth? Well, sometimes I like to make very dimensional kind of laid cards. So this would be like a focal point. Oh my goodness, was that a firework I just heard? I just heard it like a weird squeal. Almost like a firework. Right, let's have a look what pretty papers we have before us. Got some of this. I think these have been cut into already, so I might use some of that. Oh, that's been cut into too. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yes. What do you think of that, guys? Right, let me have a little wee tidy. And then, I think, let's make some cards. So, I'm going to see if this will fit onto a... How this would look onto... Just about fit it onto a, that size card. But it kind of lends itself more to either a bigger size card or a square six by six so that's I think what I'm going to go and aim for botanical bloom stamp set had a great statement it did it did I remember people using it quite often I think I borrowed it from a friend that stamp set and pan uh, dies yes I remember using it but I don't remember I never owned it myself Right, I'm cutting at, I think I cut at five and a half inches. I did, yes. I'm going to keep that little, these little scraps. I might use those later or I might use a section on the back. You baked a cake. Wow. What flavour, Miss Jan? Oh, that's good, Wendy. You're getting there. Right, I'm just going to check if there's a greeny coloured one. Ah, uh, stripes. Oh, that one's got... Hmm. I was wondering whether to cut some leaves using the slug punch. <laughs> Sorry, it just reminded me of a slug. What can I say? Let's see if we can breathe some life into it, into the slug. So I'm Kind of going around the line of it. Oh, it looks even more like a slug now. Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure I can cope with it. Maybe if I've put some other things in there as well, it won't look so sluggy. 
If I do a group of three. <laughs> uh, who else hates slugs? Right, let's quickly group them so they don't look so sluggy. See if this works. If not, I'm going to turn to another punch. <laughs> right, let's see. Let's just stick stick them down in a configuration that I'm happy with. Oh, yeah. That's a bit better. So I'm just going to tuck the third one in between the two, like so. Oh no, not like that. Like that. The only thing is, they don't really seem to show up that well. It's all right. It's okay, but I think I need to choose a darker green, to be honest, or a solid green. So I'm going to go back to using hair pizzazz. Because it just seems to pop out a little bit more. And funnily enough, there's not actually, I don't think there's really any pear pizzazz on this paper, but I have used it in the centre there. So, um, okay, Anne. Yes, yeah, Steph's okay. Yeah, I'm friends with her on um, Facebook. Someone else was asking, actually. And I, I just think she doesn't come into my lives so much anymore. Um, but she... I, I will message her, though, and tell her people are asking after her. Yeah, she posted on Facebook 12 hours ago. And yeah, she seems to be okay. So yeah, thank you for asking. I will message her and tell her that everyone was thinking of her though. Thank you for asking. She's not missing missing, as in she's just not being seen on my channel. Okay, so I'm just punching some of these. I love this leaf punch. Although these are rather delicate, I think. I need maybe a bit more of a substantial leaf to go behind here. <gasps> I might have to break out the dies. Oh dear. Right, so bear with. We've got those gorgeous, gorgeous leaf dies that go with that leaf stamp set that I've just used or we also have something that I have been dying to use as a leaf but not really done it um, so I'm just looking for those leaf dies right so these trees here I think oh I might have done it once but I haven't done it a while these trees here I think they look like leaves so. yes yeah thank you Shara thank you for asking yeah I think sometimes you know people hang around for a while and then they you know do other things and or they find interests in other places or whatever so Right, get my machine. Sorry, I haven't I hadn't thought of that I was going to be doing this, so otherwise I would have perhaps cut these ahead of time. Um. Right. Get the 
these lined up. Oh, yeah, here I am. Yeah, here now I am. <laughs> Feels like I could just run that through one more time. So sometimes you can put the die back in as it should be. You can kind of feel it slot into place. Sometimes it just needs a couple of passes, especially with these really detailed ones. They just need a bit extra. make a cool leaf slightly skeletal but you know still cool hi Marie then I got another one there so I think I'm just going to cut out another couple because I've got two cards to make So who has the mountain air dies? I must admit I've had them for quite a while and I've not used them as much as I thought I would. I could do with having a bit of a play with them. Come on, come. Gently does it. If you turn your dies up the other way, they seem to cut better. Oh, I see. Okay. What do you mean if you put that first? Although I haven't got a clue where it's going to be there. <laughs> do you mean that way? Put the paper on top. I should have moved my camera up, shouldn't I? Rather than me trying to fit in. Right, all done. Thank you for your patience. I hope you, if you're watching this on the replay, I hope you fast forward that bit. Oh, a die to cut out delicate dahlias. Ah, yeah, I've not even thought of that. Although I have seen some nice cards where people have cut them out. Yeah, that is a good point, Kelly. Is Lorraine in here? Hi, Lorraine. Just seeing you now come in. Did you have a nice day? Now hold on. Let's check the sizes of these. Are they both the same? Oh, they are. I thought one was smaller than the other. Nope, they're the same. There we go. 
<laughs> Hi, Susan. Okay, I'm making a right mess here, but it's fun. So before I start sticking these down, I do want to just pull up the edge of my paper just a little bit because I quite like the idea of this other colour poking through on the other side. It saves me having to do an additional border, to be quite honest with you. And it just adds a little bit of detail and texture without going to much trouble. There we go. Let's do it with this one as well. Hi, Mary. Oh, welcome. Oh, you're all sounding very regal tonight. Mary Hulk says, Hi, Mary, from San Diego, from Mary, from Prince George. Yay. I think I should just read your comments with the Queen's voice. Right. See, I quite like the idea of curling these leaves a little bit. I've still got bits in them that I haven't poked out, but... Of like sticking them in a bit of a, a curl like that. See, this is where I wish I had some of that. It was all the rage to have that sort of muslin type stuff, it's like thready. In people who do sort of mixed media, have it. And it's quite nice, sort of like little thready bits. Yes, the, apparently, yes, the Christmas food is starting to, it's September after all, you know, we've had the back to school stuff, although I'm surprised we're not seeing the Halloween stuff before Christmas, unless they're cancelling Halloween this year. No. Oh, don't they do lovely chocolate covered gingery cookie things in Germany? Marzipan. Oh, the Germans know how to do Christmas. Right, there we go. What do you think, guys? I'm going to leave those little leaves out and I'm going to leave the slugs out because um, I can't cope. Right, let's get a bit of peachy coloured card. So this is pale papaya. Gorgeous pale papaya. Let's cut a base. Yes, I know I'm squashing the cards, but I think they can cope just for a second. I'll I'll re them up again in a second. I did get through the jewellery, thank you, Susan. Look, I'm wearing I'm wearing a bracelet and I'm wearing earrings as well. And I started to show Esther a few pieces. So I was just saying earlier that I'm going to, whatever I don't want, I'm going to donate to the Potter's House charity that I support. So it will be sold for them to raise money for the cycle with dignity project so thank you so so much liebe kuchen speculatius marzipan eggs chocolate baubles and santa claus <laughs> Do 
just get a lot, try and get the last bits of these out. Yeah, as I said, I want this to be a little bit textured, so I'm actually going to stick stick it down with a bit of a curve in it and hope it stays. This is the sort of card that you may need to make a box for before you ask, because this is probably not going to survive the post, or it's the sort of card that you would, yeah, make make a loose envelope for, wrap it in tissue, and then give it by hand. So I'm deliberately curving, can you see, I'm deliberately curving those leaves up. So putting a good amount of glue on there. Hold that down. Hobby Lobby has all seasons at all times. Okay. Well, I suppose, yeah, when you're a crafter, you have to do all seasons. I suppose they just have season areas. Just thinking, I've got some of those that are some space for some little flowers. I want to cut some of these small flowers out. Just pop some of these around the place. One. Two. So if you find that the cardstock gets a bit stuck in these really ornate punches, just punch your way out. Don't don't be there tugging and pulling too much. Just punch your way out. Um, I'm just going to grab a quick ink pad just to put some colour onto the edges of these. Where would you put your sentiment? Uh, if I was to put it on here, I think I would put it in this section here. Yeah. Sometimes I don't put sentiments on ornate cards in case people want to have them displayed for beyond the occasion that I'm giving it to them for. You know, if it's a pretty card like this and it says happy birthday, well, they may not want to have it then displayed. I have a friend who I send cards to and uh, I've been, you know, whenever I've been to visit, she will sometimes still have the cards displayed even though I've given them to her years and years ago. But she likes the look of them, so she uses them as home decor, you know. So, there we go. Just, that'll do. Let's stick these down. Now, I could use dimensionals for this. I just can't see any on my desk right now, so I'm not going to use them. But I'm thinking I will also put some gems in these, so they're going to, you know, they're going to pop. Hi, Cindy. Okay, I'll come back to that one. So this one, I don't know whether to go for, I don't know whether to go for balmy blue or to actually go for misty moonlight because, yeah, I think I'll go for misty moonlight. Because now I put all that blue on the balmy blue paper for the petals, it's made it a darker flower, hasn't it? So there we go. So I'm cutting this at five and three quarter inches. And 
four. Whoa, let's get the blade out of the way. If anyone's wondering where, why my blade colour is different, it's because my previous, not blade, my score tool, little notch broke out of it, so I've had to get a replacement, but it's not a Stampin' Up! replacement. Right. Uh, okay, so similar again. Just put in the glue. Move it down. And then a little bit of a a little bit of a twist in it. This one coming down here this time. Again, a little twist in it. So it curves. Oh, that one's wanting to come off. Oi, stay. I'm just going to quickly get the flower on and then hold everything down. Oh, wow, Vanessa. Hi, Rebecca. Welcome, welcome. So for those of you just joining, we've been making some paper flowers using various punches. This one's actually made using the tulip punch, but I cut off the little little elements, petals, to make that shape. God, I've got glue on there now, never mind. Oh, Rebecca, sorry to hear that. Um, oh, what's happened to that? You lost five golf balls in the water. Oh, no. You've torn a rotator cuff muscle. Ooh. Okay, I decided to use my brush this time to get some colour on. So after me using, you know, all the pastels and everything earlier, if you haven't got the pastels, this is another option for colouring your petals. You can just use a craft brush. Stampin' Up! do sell, sell these. This is not a Stampin' Up! one, but I just have this one to hand. Actually, I'm going to go with three, so. Have you got a course near you, Vanessa? Gonna see if I can get my hands on my dimensionals. I'm sure I used them the other day. Oh, here we go.
It was a bad round. Oh. Well, I suppose the more you play it, the you know, the better you'll get. You'll get back into it. You'll get back in the swing of it. <laughs> See what I did then? Um, right, got some gemmy gems. Wonderful gems here. Hello, Ivy. Oh, these are so cute. They've got like tiny little bits of gold glitter in them. So nice. Oh, there's smaller ones as well. Didn't see those. Okay. Pop a big one in that one though. A little one in here. Very cute. I think these deserve some too, don't they? That one in there. That one there. Little one there. Little one there. There we go. Right, that's it for tonight, I think. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. So lovely to see you all. And I will show off a few cards in a second that I've received in the post. Right. Just trying to think if there's anything else I need to do. Apart from give these a little bit of a bit of, bit of love and attention, make these stand to attention a bit more. Okay. If you wanted to these to sort of stay up, you could always stick some dimensionals or something, layer up some dimensionals underneath there. We have it right that was that one was first so let me know one or two which one you prefer and thank you very much for joining me today guys so we use the heart punch from the there's a like a double heart punch set in the main annual catalogue and then i also use the tulip punch so that was the tulip punch but i just cut off the kind of the two petals there to create these larger flowers and then the center of this one is the small daisy punch that one and then the center of this one is two of these larger ones from this double flower punch then the center centers the real centers here are made up of two stars so two of these and this is available in the mini catalog so it's a good way to for me to show off all the punches actually and, and what the potentials are and i didn't end up using those lovely leaves these little ones here but um i guess i could maybe maybe stick a couple in at some point and what else i use the papers these beautiful beautiful papers from I'll just check the name of it. Oh, I've taken the board out. That's clever of me, isn't it? Well done, bear with. I'll find the name of it. Okay, any questions? What to do that those flowers don't get um I'd make a box envelope. I, I wouldn't make a, just a normal envelope for this, Martina. I'd make a box envelope. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to find the name of those papers. It'll come, it'll come. It's called Hand Penned Designer Series Paper. That is it. There we go. And they have these beautiful, beautiful designs that you don't really need to do much more with it, really. And just a nice big focal point flower and some leaves. And of course, these leaves, leaves, were cut from the 
meadow majestic mountain dies not meadow majestic mountain so that's the die set that goes with mountain air and then this other leaf this one here was cut from delicate leaves which is a gorgeous set that actually teams up with and where do i put the stamp set here it is gorgeous leaves I've got a so these two actually go together and they're available as a bundle um, like that. And I used that and that to create the texture on my flowers. And then I used the chalks. These, no, they're called soft pastels or pastels. Um, we call them chalk here in the UK. So I used those to colour in my flowers. Find the other one before I lose it. Here it is. So there we have it. Right, if you do have any questions, please do comment. Thank you, Susan. You like the idea of using the trees for a leaf? Yes. Good idea. I'm going to be going through my punches now to see how I can make flowers. Good, 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 good. Right. So I received in the post a lovely card from Renee in Australia. Thank you, Renee. And it was lovely. It was just a, it was a just because, it was a just because card, you know. And then I had this one from lovely Jan. Thank you, Jan. And then this one came today. And I think, did I see you make this the other day, Susan, in the zoom so look she's used the intricate leaves look at that aren't they gorgeous and then she's used well this i don't think this is stamping up but she's used some sort of dye and embossing thing to make this very 3d looking flower and then she stamped this the other day with the color challenge that went up on saturday so there we go all floral isn't that funny they know me well. <laughs> yeah, aren't they gorgeous? So thank you so much, everybody. I love getting love getting the happy mail. And then the birthday card that I think I forgot to show you. Yes, it was this one from Claire. Thank you, Claire. And this one from Wendy March. So these were the birthday cards that I neglected to show. So that's using Forever Fern. And this one, I need to ex explain this one. This one folds out in a really interesting way. So look, that actually stands like that. It's like a big kind of W. So it stands like, like that. So that when you sort of look at it, you've got that in the distance. And it's just, it sits just a little way away from there. So it's fabulous. Oops, hold on, come on out. Sorry, you've got, to, you've got to open that bit, otherwise it doesn't stand up. Oh, there we go. Do that, there we go. Yes, it was back in April. No, 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 it was back in April, Janine. Way back, don't worry. And actually, I've still got the card you sent me, Janine, somewhere. It's up here somewhere. I'm running out of space above my desk. I'm going to have to start putting some of these on the wall. So. There we have it. Right. Thank you so much, guys. Um, I won't be around, I don't think, for a live tomorrow. I might see if I can film something in the afternoon. But um, I might just leave it and see you on Monday. Because got a busy weekend so lovely to see you all take care for now and uh, have a great weekend and see see you all soon lots of love to you all take care bye please remember thumbs up